Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is the last part in the series. In this part, we're going to create the animation. So make sure to go through part one if you haven't watched it. Let's go. Okay guys, at first we need to separate the tail from the body. Tap to edit mode, hover the mouse on the tail, L to select, hit P, enter to separate. Select the eyes, go to modifiers. We need to apply all the modifiers that we have right now. Okay, cool. We're gonna do the same thing for the eyelashes. Last step, select the body and apply the subdivision service modifier. Select the body, tap to edit mode. As you see guys, everything looks fine. Also, we need to select this one and apply the modifier. So make sure to apply every single modifier that you have. This is highly, highly important. All right, hold shift, select everything, select the body, go with Ctrl J to join. Select the body, G to grab. As you see guys, we forgot the eyes. Select the eyes, hold shift, select the eyelashes, then the body, go with Ctrl J to join. Now we should have one single object. Hit G to grab, and as you see, everything looks fine. Now be careful guys, select only the body, go to file, export, and go with FPX. Go ahead and select a folder, and we need to check selected objects. When you are done with that, click on export FPX. So usually we can rig the body in Blender, right? And I did a full tutorial about that. But for this tutorial series, we need to cut corners. That's why we're gonna do this instead. So if you wanna rig the body on your own, go ahead and check the video on the right side corner. But I highly recommend to stay here because that's gonna save you three or four hours of work. All right, guys, now we have the FBX file. We're gonna head out to Google and search for MixMO. So this is my number one highly recommend auto animation software that you can use to create cool animation just in one click. And it's free. So what are you waiting for? So as you see guys, Mixamo has already characters that you can use and of course animations. You can move the camera by holding the mouse right click. And here we have a bunch of tools, so we don't need to talk about that because I didn't use them. I use Mixamo to rig my character very quickly and to add an animation to show off my work. So we're gonna keep it nice and clean. So if you want, you can post the video and explore the software. So I promise you guys, it's very simple and straight to the point. For now, we're gonna go ahead and upload our character. We can use FBX, OBG, or a zip file. Go ahead and select our FBX file. So, when it's done, click on Next. Of course, it's highly important to keep using the symmetry. Select the chin and move it right there. Select the elbows and move them into the right place. It's just about there. Select the knees. It's obvious to you guys. I don't need to talk more. So when you are done, click on next and voila. Believe me or not, you are done. So usually that will take about two minutes. So it's so far done, hit next and next again and we are ready to go. And now guys, take your time to pick an animation and you are pretty much done. So when you are happy with that, hit download. We're gonna download this file as an FBX and we need to go back to Blender. 
So in Blender we need to keep everything organized, that's why we're gonna add a new folder. Rename this folder, select all these folders and grab them into the cat folder. Go ahead and hide the cat folder and add a new one for animation. This time go to file, import, fbx. So guys, we need to hit the spacebar to test the animation and as you see, everything works very fine. We're gonna go ahead and split a new section and this time we're gonna go with timeline. Select the bones, as you see guys, these keyframes will, will take you hours to be done. And we created that in just one click. That's cool, right? Okay, cool. Now select the cat folder and we will duplicate the tail. Select the tail, go with Shift T to duplicate mouse right click. In the outliner, hit the numpad period key. Select this one and grab it into the cat animation folder. So now we have a tail and I'm gonna show you how you can rig the tail manually in Blender. Select the tail, go with Shift H to hide everything except the tail. As you see guys, the origin is snapped into the 3D cursor. Go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. Tap to Edit Mode, GY to move along the Y axis just like so. Now we move the pivot point into there and it's cool. In the Object Mode, we need to grab the tail back just like so. Go with Shift A, Armature. As to scale the bone a bit and move the bone into there. Go with R90 to rotate the bone just like so. To see the bone, click here. In the viewport display, click on in front. And now our bone is visible all the time. Select this one, go with GY to move along the Y axis. Select the bone, mouse right click, subdivide. From here, we need to increase this number about eight. All right, select this one, go with EY to extrude along the Y axis. Select this bone, hit F2 to rename the bone. I'm gonna go with IK. Okay, click here, under relations, we're gonna remove this parent. That means this bone is separated from others. Select this bone in the object mode, go with Control tab to switch into pose mode. Select this one, if you hit G, we got nothing. That's why we're gonna do this. Go to constraint menu, add bone constraint and go with inverse kinematics. The target, it's gonna be this bone in this case. Click on bone and choose the IK bone that we have just created. All right, select the IK, hit G to grab, and there we go. Of course, guys, we can also control the rotation as well. But for now, I'm gonna keep that simple as possible. So make sure that you are in the object mode. Select the mesh and make sure to apply every single modifier that you have. So select the mesh at first, hold shift, select the bones. Go with Ctrl B with automatic weights. So guys, Blender does a really good job with automatic weights. So make sure to choose that option. Select the bones, go with Ctrl tab to switch into pose mode. Select this one, go with G to grab and there we go. Guys, I admit I'm not that good at animation at all. If you wanna go in depth in such tutorials like this one, you need to check out this YouTube channel. Alright, now go with Alt H to unhide everything. Select the bones, 
and move them into the right place in the object mode of course. Under viewboard display we need to activate in front and go ahead and do the same thing for the skeleton. All right, select this one, hold shift, select this one, go with control P and choose object, keep transform. And as you see, we just parented the tail into the body. And that's what we are looking for, right? So to animate this tail, go to frame 0, we are in the pose mode, select the IK, hit I and go with just location and rotation. Before we do anything, we need to click on the auto keying button. Alright, now go to frame 16, select the IK and move it a bit. Go to frame 52 and move the IK a bit. I think you got the idea. So we have just inserted some keyframes. Hit the spacebar to test the animation. And there we go. So guys, this is a very time consuming process. An animation, it's really, really complicated. And I said that before, I'm not good at it. For now, I'm happy with this result and I think for a beginner, that's more than enough. So guys, that was all about this tutorial series. If you learned something, make sure to smash that like button. See you in the next one.